Hi there boys and girls. This week in math we're starting money. So I thought I would begin by reading one of my favorite books called Measuring Penny by Laureen Leedy. Here we go. My name is Lisa and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says that we can measure anything like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. Measuring homework due next Tuesday. One, choose something to measure. Two, measure it as many ways as you can. Height, width, length, weight, volume, temperature, time. Record your results. Include at least one comparison. It is taller than, it is heavier than, etc. Remember, a measurement has two parts, one a number, two a unit. I am six feet tall. Which units can you use? Here are some examples. Standard units, inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, teaspoon, cups, gallons, pounds, minutes, etc. Non-standard units, paper clips, bricks, frogs, marbles, pencils, toes, etc. Use your imagination. When I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for homework. She is a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. Come on, Penny, I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down. I can't believe how many dogs are around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit. So let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. Four inches, Shetland Sheepdog. One inch, Penny. Half an inch, Pug. Penny's measurement. Nose, one length, unit, inch. Tail, length, one dog biscuit, unit, dog biscuit. I'll measure your tails with non-standard units, dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. One dog biscuit, Penny. Four dog biscuits, Fox Terrier. Six dog biscuits, mixed breed. Ten dog biscuits, Greyhound. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit, cotton swabs. Don't wiggle so much. Pug, half a swab. Penny, one swab. Basset Hound, three swabs. Penny's ear, length one swab, unit cotton swab. Let's see how many paw prints. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit, centimeters. Mixed breed, five centimeters. Dash Hound, two and a half centimeters. Penny, three centimeters. Cocker Spaniel, four centimeters. Penny's paw print, width, three centimeters, unit, centimeters. I want to see how tall you are. Everybody, sit. Greyhound, 36 inches or three feet. Cocker Spaniel, 24 inches or two feet. Dash Hound, 12 inches, one foot. Mixed breed, 48 inches or four feet. Penny's height, 18 inches, unit, inch. 11 inches, 12 inches equals a foot. Penny is one and a half feet tall. Three feet equals a yard. Penny is a half a yard tall. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I wish I could use myself to measure with. Over my head, Greyhound. Shoulder height, Fox Terrier. Waist height, Penny. Knee high, Basset Hound. Chest high, Shetland Sheep Dog. Penny's jump, as high as my waist, unit, me. There is no scale in the park, so I can't weigh anything. Wait, I could use the seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared to the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Now Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced, so she weighs about the same as the Shetland Sheepdog. 
weight comparison. Penny is heavier than the pug, lighter than the Cocker Spaniel, same as the Shetland Sheepdog. You look thirsty, Penny. We better go home and get you a drink. See you later, everybody. Let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you. Get on the scale. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for your favorite drink. Penny's weight, 16 pounds, unit, pound. Mr. Jason says volume is the amount of space something fills, like water in a cup. So what volume of water do you want? A cup, a pint, a quart, or a gallon. Maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon. You drank a cup of water already today. I'll give you another cup now. I suppose you're hungry too. Now you can have a whole bag of dog food and I'll give you a half cup. Drinking water per day, one to three cups. Food per day, one cup dry, half a cup can, unit cup. Sometimes dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good, at least to you know who. I'm going to follow Penny all around all day Saturday and measure how much time I spend taking care of her. Penny's schedule, 6 a.m. wake up, 6 to 7, patrol house, 7 o'clock, back to wake, ev wake up everybody, 7.05, take a quick walk, 7.10, eat breakfast, 7.20, beg for scraps, 8 o'clock, howl when mom goes out, 8.10, take nap, 8.45, nibble dog biscuits, 12 o'clock noon, eat lunch, 12.15, take a nap, 1 o'clock, gnaw bone, investigate weird noise in basement. 2 o'clock, snooze for a while, 2.30, bark, run in circles, 2.35, go for a long walk, 3.45, carry newspaper in, 4 o'clock, watch cartoons. I'll make a poster for this part. Taking care of Penny, how much time did it take? Every day, feeding her, 10 minutes. Brushing her, 15 seconds, she has short hair. Walking her, 5 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes at night. Playing with her, half an hour to an hour, weekly. Giving her a bath, 15 minutes to an hour. Clipping her toenails, 5 minutes. Units, hours, minutes, seconds. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in 6 seconds. Penny's times, her bed to her dish, 6 seconds. Across the backyard, 4 seconds. Around the block, 5 minutes. To the park, 7 minutes. To my bus stop, 15 seconds, units, minutes, seconds. Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. 80 degrees, 60 degrees, 40 degrees, 20 degrees, zero, unit degrees Fahrenheit. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny is with money. Mom looked through her checkbook to help me figure this one out. We decided Penny is kind of expensive. Cost of having Penny. To buy puppy, $275. Food for one year, $400. Vet for one year, $120. Toys, collars, etc., $75. Units, dollars and cents. But she's worth a lot, too. Value of having Penny as a burglar alarm, $1,000. As an exercise machine, $500. As entertainment, $20 a day. For love, a million dollars. Units, dollars, and cents. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on my measuring report. Penny, maybe we should change your name to a million. And that is Measuring Penny. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to that story as much as I liked reading it.